The following program contains no firearms, no scenes of hunting, no violence and no cruelty to animals. We do not promote hunting. All guns shown in this program are compressed by spring, gas piston or PCP. Do not require a firearm license. The program is aimed to be informative, entertaining and sportive. So, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's video is another review video actually. The product which I am going to review is right in front of me, the Trio PSR Neo Shooting Rest. Trio is a brand which is making like shooting rest for all kind of rifles like firearms, air rifles, whatever it may be, like they are making good shooting rest actually. I got one for review, the Trio PSR Neo. This is the model called Trio PSR Neo. So I am going to take you through the review of this product. So we'll take a look at the features of the product, I'll show close-up views of the product and how it is used and so on. So I bought two rifles with me and uh, this rifle press takes uh, different kind of rifles like a traditional rifle for a Springer, Bullpup, everything goes with this rifle. So we'll go into the review and look at the product. So talking from the first uh, front actually, so this is a velcro which is used to keep it in place and this is a sandbag which can be filled with sand, it comes unfilled actually, you can still, uh, fill it with sand or rice husk or whatever it is and you can use that uh, in the front. This is where the rifle front or the fore end of the rifle rests over and this has an adjustability so if you loosen this butterfly net over the bottom, you can lift it and lower it as much as you need and then coming to the back there is a rear end or the rear rest for the rifle which is uh, padded with some foam inside so it doesn't make any scratches on the rifle so which i'm so into it because i don't want my rifles to get scratched so we have a leather kind of a band at the back if you place a heavy recoil rifle over here the buttstock of the rifle rest can be rested in this band actually which is useful at that point so which is not going to be used in today's video in my rifles actually this is a bcp and a springer not going to recoil too much and coming to the middle there is an elevation adjustment for this rest actually so this can be elevated up and down using this knob at the center so this is an elevation adjustment knob for this one and then there are three adjustments two on the front and one at the back actually the two on the front is to adjust the angle of the rest actually like if you want to keep it on a level ground and see the leveling of the rest like this is very useful so you can adjust the angle of the rest and rear there is one adjustment which is to adjust the total height of the rear portion of the rest so there is lot of adjustability in the rest and another one more important thing which i found to be the very interesting one is that this rest has a windage adjustment option so usually shooting rests don't have windage adjustments in them but this one has a windage adjustment option so if you loosen the front knob over here slightly i just like to keep it snug not too loose like keep it snug and what i can do is like when the rifle is rested i can swivel it around like this so this has a windage adjustment option so if there is three targets over there in my lane and i want to take the three targets from here i don't want to move the whole rest up to this place like i can keep it over here and swivel it around even this rifle uh, front end is useful for keeping a 500 cc air, air rifle on this like i have my beam which has a 450 or 500 cc air reservoir which is bulky and which is like uh, has a bigger diameter but stock actually so that too can fit on this one very easily which is very useful for me so let's not waste time let's uh, get into the video i'll show you how to zero a rifle in this rest we'll take some shots let's get to it so i have set up the targets exactly at 40 yards from here uh, which is a zero range for this rifle i haven't zero this rifle so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to try to zero this rifle using the rest i'm going to turn the scope cap on so I'm going to turn the scope cam on so you guys can see what we are going to go through. Uh, let's keep it at 40. So now the target is not visible in the scope actually. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to lift it up to see the target first of all. So what I'm going to use is the elevation knob over here. If I just tighten this knob I can see the targets coming up. Yeah, it's coming up and up. Now you can see the target over there okay that's my camera over there so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to use the windage adjustment of this rifle rest so this is the windage adjustment so i got it exactly on the place and i'm going to tighten the front to keep it where it is 
and then a little bit of adjustment on the elevation knob so i got it right in the crosshair eye so i'm going to take a shot i'm going to use the jsp 10.34 which are the most accurate pellet for this rifle take a shot with the 10.34 hopefully i don't hit my camera over there it is recording yeah it's recording let's go okay let's go for it almost almost there we are almost down the bullseye it's really happy so i'll show you like one more shot okay a little bit on the higher side i'll take one more shot just to make sure so one more shot to make sure okay hole in hole so i think i pulled the first shot so i'm what i'm going to do is like give a bit of elevation adjustment on the scope so this is where the rifle rest comes in place i'll show you like uh, how it is done so what i've done is like i've placed everything in place i am not touching the rifle i'm not going to touch the rifle at any chance so what i'm going to do is like i'm not going to touch the rifle at any chance so i'm going to move the elevation of so that it aligns with the crosser slightly so there you have it right exactly on the crosser so what i'm going to do is like give a bit of clicks on the elevation to bring it to the point of impact okay so i given four or five clicks i hope so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to check whether the shot is moved to the bull's eye still recording aiming for the bull's eye yeah we got it so i'm going to take two more shots just to make sure my zero is on the mark into the same hole pellet on pellet so there goes the third shot yeah almost in the near the bull's eye so i'm pretty happy with the zeroing so let's turn off the scope cam so when you have a stable rest all we can do is like keep a rifle on the place and give some clicks looking through the scope without touching the rifle and the zeroing is done very easily so what we are going to do next is like i'm going to bring my springer over here take a couple of shots with the springer and see like whether my springer is on the mark and how the rest is useful for shooting a springer or a rifle so i bought my bsa meteor onto the table right now so it's been a long time since i shot this rifle after the competition so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to try checking the zero of this rifle see how useful this one is shooting a springer on a rifle rest so i can't put a scope cam on it'll take a bit of time to set up the scope cam because i don't have the mount over here so i'm going to adjust the elevation or bring it over to the target i'm going to use the windage a bit and bring it onto the mark let's go in for the shot i have a camera set up over there so you can see what's happening where the shot is going on it's going for the shot all right almost almost on the bull's eye since it's a springer okay i'll take it
okay I pulled it oh. I think it's my mistake I just pulled the shot let's try with the third shot I see the shots grouping so I'll take the third shot just to make sure that is the point of impact okay I got a really good group over there so I know like I had to re-zero the rifle I'm sure about it so what I'm gonna do is like Remove the turret caps off. So I'm gonna zero the rifle in the same way. Not gonna touch the rifle actually. Just gonna adjust the scope. Only the scope. Okay. Let's try adjusting it. I think I got it. Let's go in for the shot. Okay, it's getting hot. I'll just continue shooting. I just want to finish up this video. Right, exactly on the bullseye. I want to continue to take two more shots. I think this rest is useful for Springer also. This is the first time I'm trying a Springer on this rest. Okay, got a bit low. Still, I'll just continue to take the shot just to make sure. Okay, now the shot is grouping a little bit lower. I got few clicks on the elevation. So all right, uh, right on the bullseye. So this rifle is zeroed. Maybe I might have zeroed the rifle with about like maybe 10 pellets approximately because it's a Springer. So I just wanted to take all three shot groups and find out where the grouping is and then make the adjustments. So obviously it's gonna take a few more shots than my PCP. So, so you guys might have got an idea about how useful this rest is. So this rest is a important tool or an important accessory for all the shooters I would say because if you have a rest like you don't have to weigh as much pellets you can see whether the problem is with the shooter we may not hold the rifle uh, in the right position so the groups won't be accurate so we may think like the gun is not accurate but this rest can show you like if it is the shooter or the gun which is inaccurate. I have been using this for about two to three weeks and I have been uh, giving it to my friends also to try it out and they were giving me positive feedbacks about this rest. Actually like those are firearms users like those people tried this rest and they gave me a really positive feedback that it was useful for them to zero their firearms too. So I found it to be very useful. So if you want to buy the same like I'll just give a link in the description below. Maybe I'll give a contact number of the person who you want to contact for orders like you can contact them and get your own rest so i hope this video was useful for you like see you in the next one i have some really interesting videos coming up ahead like see you in the next one bye bye